What is up everyone, this is Gaming with Graham, and today I have a quick tutorial for you guys on how to make um, professional looking uh, Fortnite thumbnails like this one or like this one. Um, so, what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need GIMP, and pro preferably the latest version, and you're going to need Fortnite and something that you can take screenshots with. So any app, or Windows has one built in too, <coughs> or Mac I think. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go into a game, um, you probably want to do like solos. You could also do um, creative, um, but it doesn't look as real. So you're just going to hop up into a solos game. Okay, so I'm in a solos game, and I'm just going to look someplace where I can get a good background for screenshot. So, since retail's right by, I'm just going to go retail. Alright, so I'm about to land. Um, I'm just going to get this pump, because what you're going to want to do is you want to take the gun. It doesn't really matter what gun you have. Um, I might get killed, but anyways, you're just gonna come out here. And you're gonna get good poses that you could take a screenshot with. So, like this looks pretty good, and I'm getting killed. Okay, well, that, that'll that be good enough. You just need one good pose. So after we do that, you're just gonna wanna return to the lobby. Now you wanna go into replay mode, which you go to career and then hit replays. And you wanna look for the latest game you played. Okay, so the latest one that I did was this one. So I'm just going to hit play. Okay, so I've loaded up into the replay. And what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to hit um, on this timeline, roughly where you were posing. So for me, um, right here about. So you can go up with Q and E. And there's trees in the way, so... Okay, so we're probably going to do it from this side. Um, you just want to get a good angle, and you're just going to hit, um, make sure that you have no HUD showing, and I don't know why that happened, but, um, shouldn't happen for you guys, and then all you're going to want to do is hit the screenshot, I already have a picture set up though, so I'm not going to take one here, so you just want to take the screenshot, make sure that nothing's showing, and after that, that's all you need to do in Fortnite, so you can just X out of Fortnite, Okay, now we're in GIMP, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to grab the screenshot that you just took, and you're just going to pop it right into GIMP. So, after you do that, you need to cut this guy out so that you can only, that, so that you can cut the background out. So I'll show you how to do that. You want to hit the lasso tool, and to zoom in and zoom out, you go control, scroll wheel, to zoom in. And to go up and down, you just use your scroll wheel with no keybinds. So, um, to cut this guy out, you're going to want to ch check the pre-select tool. And you're just going to want to zoom in and try to get it as closely detailed as you can around the edges. So, since, since I don't want to have you guys waiting forever, I'm just going to do it not so nicely. But you guys, make sure that you do it a little more detailed than I do. So, let's get it. Okay, so I have almost finished, and now I have. So as you can see, it's not perfect, but um, that's because I did it pretty quickly, but you guys can do it much quicker. And once you've got this all done, you're going to double-click inside um, your selection, and then it turns into looking like this. So to cut this out, you want to hit Layer, Transparency, Add Alpha Channel, and then you're going to want to hit Select, Invert, and you're just going to hit Control x so there you go. You've got it cut out, and all you're showing, and all that's showing is this guy. But we need to do more than that, obviously. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take the same screenshot you had, and you're just gonna put it right under your selection. So as you can see, they're perfectly overlapped, the people on there. And anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit select, invert. And then select grow. And we're going to grow the selection by 15. So after you've got that done, you're going to hit, um, you're going to right click down where over here. And then you want to hit new layer. Um, so it'll be right here. Just make sure it has transparency on it. And slide it in between these two. 
Okay, so after you do that, um, we want to make this outline basically glow. Or we're going to want to make um, a glowing outline around the character. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to unselect this. Or, sorry, not unselect it, just make it invisible. And you want to go to the bucket tool, change this to whatever color you want your character to be glowing. I'll just do white. And you want to just hit, and it'll turn into this. So now, come back here. Or actually, no, sorry, you stay here. But you can make this visible again. You hit select, none. And then you right click on this. And then filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And as you can see, it's kind of glowing already. But we're going to want to make it glow a little heavier than that. So we're going to put it up to around 8. And as you can see, this puts a glowing outline around your character. So you can make this just a solid outline too. But I like it to look glowing. It gives it more of a pop. So now um, you're just going to put some text. Um, basically whatever your video is going to be about. So I'm just going to put mine as... And you can use any font that you want. I like to download some. I've downloaded Ablex Pro and Go Bold. Those are probably my two favorite. And I'll just name it Fortnite Thumbnail. And then you want to come over here, hit Enter. Maybe make the text box a little bigger so that there's space um, between the bottom and the sides and whatnot. This makes it so that you can do Alpha to Selection. And if you hit Select, grow and then you grow up by two you can put an outline around your text so we'll just use black because um it's white text and if you get it right oh <laughs> silly me i have to use this um it's kind of hard but if you zoom in you should be able to do it there we go okay so now that text looks pretty good but you might want it to look a little better so you can change the color, but what I love to do to make it look nice is the gradient. So I, I'm just going to make it go red to, let's do just green. I like that color combo. So if we slide this up by selecting the gradient tool from the left side, which is this one. If you drag it up and you hit enter, you can see that it adds like a little gradient on the text. So, you can just ha play with it and see what you like. I'll just stick with this. Um, and then you want to hit select. And just hit none. And now you can see what it looks like. And that looks pretty darn cool. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys one more cool thing before this video ends. And that is just this picture that you can put in to really spice your thumbnail up. So, what you're going to do is I'll just show you what it looks like. So it, make sure that you drag it to the top, it says over everything. And basically it's like these little light spikes. So if you just look up light spikes um, on Google or whatever, then you should be able to see image images like this. And you just can copy them or uh, get, save it as an image and download it to your PC. So to make it so that it like covers the whole picture, you're going to have to hit this to get rid of the black. Um, it's a select by color tool and just hit the black and then you hit layer transparency at alpha channel and then you want to hit control x and if it for some reason removes these then you want to hit control z invert and then do it again so basically what we have now is you want to hit um, let's see if we can scale the layer yes scale layer and make it 1920 by that works but anyways, as you can see, now it's covering, like, the whole screen. And it looks pretty darn cool. So you can change the opacity by sliding this little thing up here to make it not so, like, so that it doesn't cover up on your picture. But anyways, that just makes it, you know, a little a pop a little more and kind of centers your guy. So um, that's how you make a... Decent looking Fortnite thumbnail for your Fortnite montages or your just Fortnite videos. Um, this is the technique that I love to use. Um, there's many more ways you can make Fortnite thumbnails, which maybe I'll come out with some more, but 
um this is my favorite way so thank you for watching and if you i just want to say quick that select none you can see the full picture um and you want to also hit file and then export as to save it probably know everything so thank you for watching and uh, i hope to do some more tutorials like this in the future and i'll see you guys next time bye